Hey guys, it's Megan Collins from Style Girlfriend and I'm here in beautiful Wisconsin to check out how shoes are made at the Allen Edmonds Shoe Factory. Let's go check it out. To begin the shoemaking process, Allen Edmonds cuts most styles by hand, but laser cutter machines are often used for a precise outline of each specific component of the shoe being produced. After the calfskin leather has been inspected for quality, leather dress shoes and boots enter what's called the pre-fit stage. Here, craftspeople on the floor make stitch lines to mark where the leather pieces will connect on the upper. Once marked, the skiving process begins. Edges are carefully trimmed to ensure they won't be too thick when they're overlapped to form the upper. Pinking creates the sawtooth edge you often see detailed in a shoe's upper. While you can think of perfing like a micro hole puncher that adds the ornamental detail seen in the toe of your dress shoes. The fitting stage begins by adjoining the pieces together to start forming what you'll recognize as the upper of a shoe. In a quality dress shoe or boot, binding will be added for extra strength to the collar. If you can't tell by now, a quality dress shoe is a complicated creature, guys. Like men are from Mars, women are from Venus complicated. What starts as a soft, pliable leather upper now needs to be firmed by adding the doubler to the backside. Finally starting to look like an actual, you know, shoe. The upper is hand sewn to craft the initial shape and this is where the lining is attached as well. In shoes that require laces, eyelets are hand punched into the leather. Now we start seeing some structure. The toe box gets glued in and the insole is pieced together to form the larger upper that will eventually get trimmed. Insoles are sorted and marked before entering further shoe construction down the line. Before the components of each shoe are fully combined, a last is used to properly form the shoe in a size and width specific shape. In a factory where thousands of shoes are created daily from start to finish, Allen Edmonds craftspeople use identification tickets to match orders for their upper and insole counterparts. Impressive organization, right? Remember that last? A shoe now starts to take on its final shape in upper molding machines that form the shoe to the shape of the last. The leather is then softened and the excess amount is trimmed before the burnishing begins. Nearing the end of a shoe's production journey, a welt is added to sew together the outsole with its insole and upper. There are a few ways to attach an outsole to the upper, but the tried and true method is a Goodyear welt, where a strip of leather, rubber, or plaster is sewn around the base of the uppers. A scary sounding wooden shank is scored and skived before being attached to the sole for added support. Cork is then spread on the footbed for form to your foot comfort. There is a varied amount of cosmetic artistry that takes place depending on each specific shoe type from leather dyeing to buckle additions before the final design is in place and the outsoles are cleaned. A complicated process, but worth it. <laughs>